What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. I'm Chris. That's Mike. What's going on? Guys, What we, we got a question for you. What, what do you think would happen if the Widow got her groove back? If... if she, Minerva got a groove back. If what should... Will and should Minerva get her groove back? Get the gift back is what I'm saying. That's what we're here for. That's what we're going to discuss. That's what we're going to do. Mike... Lay it on me. Should, will, should, why? <laughs> well, I was telling you, is it is it right to fight fire with fire? Um, can we get one of these um, post-apocalyptic things again, just like we did 500 years prior, if that was the case where everybody was getting the gift? You know what I mean? So the more people that have this ability, I don't think will, will help at all. Um, obviously, the master is there for a reason. She came to, you know, and Chow will have a, a piece in this too. I think. I think there's a reason she came to them at this at that moment. Yeah, it doesn't matter. She's got six six like arrows in her. It doesn't make yeah, a maybe She'll even be fine. more. But yeah, no, I She'll think be that fine, uh, yeah. I think that it might not be the best idea to get a give her the gift back, even though we've seen some changes oh, in Minerva's don't. character. Okay. okay. No, I mean not right now. I think that there might be some kind of a trial, or there has to be some. I don't think that it it would be right for the Abbot. Um, listen, it, she's not the only one. The master is not the only abbot, right? But she's the master, so, though, of of all of that. Apparently, I, I, yeah. So right? I don't know if so. it would if it would uh, necessarily be the right thing right right now um, with with uh, with the widow. Uh, yeah, I mean, I kind of disagree because I think one, I think it'll be real cool to see her with the gift, to see what she can do, because she's already, you know, she's already, like, a master fighter assassin. Like, she's already she's mm-hmm. already badass to the point where, you know, that's why she's a baron. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. I think if she got it back, there's a couple things that could happen. One, it could be, like, you just mentioned the word trial. It could be on a trial basis, meaning that if, if, if the master can give her the gift back, that means she most likely take it away. Just like, so now we know that there are people that can use the gift and there are people that can control the gift. Yeah. And then the people that can use it may all can also control it like, like uh, MK can, but I'm not talking about that control. I'm talking about turn it on and off. We'll put it that way. That's the, the control I'm, I'm referring to. So, you know, if she gives it back to her and she's like, I'm going to give this back to you. And when this is all over, I'm taking it away from you. Unless you can prove to me that you're worthy. Like now, you have to earn it or something. Now, here's the thing. Yeah. I, She's not brash. I think I think Minerva, yeah. Minerva has learned a thing or two. And I don't think she's brash. You know, I think, I think that she's going, if she did get the gift back, she'd use it properly. You think? I do. I do. I really do. I think. I think she'd use it properly, and I think that, you know, definitely be an asset. Um, so I don't know. I th- I think she should get it back, and I think <clears throat> that she'll use it wisely. Um, that's well, one, not to say you know she won't try after the fact to try and do something dumb, but well, you know, by you saying that you would trust her if she does get the gift back, kind of mm-hmm. gives me the idea that. Remember when? When Minerva met Pilgrim and Cressida, Cressida's like, "You have the gift. You want it back." She could have easily she was like, Shut turned up. around and said, "Yeah, give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me." You know what I mean? Well, she was um, more, but yeah, she got more like, so "Wait, what? How did you know?" Yeah, so that's. Uh, but, but listen, if she was so for it, um, it kind of goes with what you say that maybe she will use it the right way because wouldn't she just if she wanted to use it just for her own selfish power and her ability? Then she might have just turned around and ran to Crescent and said, "How can you give it back to me?" I mean, she, yeah, you know I, I mean? yeah, I think that if you know, for all intents and purposes, she's she's her words are true in that she wants to free the Badlands, right? She yeah. wants to stop Chow because she thinks Chow's way is, is balls, and she wants to do it her way, but she thinks her way is better, and obviously that's always where problems lie, right? But the point is, when that happened, when Crescent called her out on it, I don't think that she. I think she got thrown off. You're off more like her, she was shocked game. that she yeah. knew then. So, oh my God, let me try to. Had she known, this one. Ha, right? Had she known that Pilgrim and Cressida had the ability to do that going in, obviously she might have made a different deal. But yeah. I think because she, that's not to say that you know we haven't seen her like pondering like, oh my God, wait a minute, they can it's they true. can do that like. Like mm-hmm. we've not, we haven't seen that. There was you know whether they filmed it or not, we don't know. But they have, we haven't seen that. So I don't yeah. know whether or not 
you know, that, you know, she has been thinking about that. We haven't had time because things well, kind of like went real quick after that. Let, let's let's talk about say <clears throat> say you with with with, say with, me. <laughs> with this upcoming this upcoming battle that's going to happen against right. Pilgrim. Right. Mm -hmm. If if indeed the widow does get the gift back, how is how will that affect anything? What will just by her getting the gift back? Is that going to solve everything? You know what? You're, you're, you're bringing up a good point because the gift really isn't it isn't like it's just I can kill better. You know what I mean? Like, it's just I'm stronger, faster. Yeah. You're not going to beat me one on one. I can take on 10 guys and I can wipe out your your whole, you know, army. But that is that the situation because that's it. We saw yeah. what two uh, dark ones can do in mm -hmm. in not in Nick's and uh, Caster. I was gonna say that completely wrong. You know what I mean? So we so they wiped out an entire outpost. Think about what you know. Uh, I, I you know so that's the thing. That's what it is. Yeah. So so you're right. It's it's this. It's a very interesting thing where it's not it's not this dark overlord power that lets you control the undead and rain down meteors. Like that's not what the power is. The power is. It's a it's one person who's just a, a badass, you know, fighter who can yeah. take out more than just whatever, right? So yeah. ha again, like I said previously, having the widow with that power, that's bad for people. You know what I mean? Like because she's a maniac and she will destroy you. Um but again, that you know, so I, I you're right. I don't know. I don't know what I don't know Yeah. But it, if it you goes have a to... <laughs> Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Well no, I was gonna say if you have multiple, you know, in in say Sonny and Nix and MK and you know, but then again, MK is against her right now. So I, you I know. can even see. Let's see if Pilgrim somewhat persuades Sonny or gives Sonny the gift, and Sonny is almost like an antagonist in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And he, him and Pilgrim, you know, maybe you'll have to see a dark side of Sonny that has to be defeated. You know, we can even play into that game. It's, but he's already kind of defeated his demons in 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 what he just accomplished was trying to get his son healthy so he can just basically leave and not deal with this stuff. Yeah, and I, you think that he's going to be able to do that? I don't, I don't think, he's think just going to be able to say, "All right, thanks for taking." You know, I think Sonny is going to realize. Listen, there's going to be a big realization of what just happened. Right. So I think it's going to be a big. Um, Sonny's going to have to. He's going to be like, "Holy shit!" Now. Will Pilgrim let him leave? I I doubt that. Will it be a, a, a you know an MK Sunny against? Will it be the Widow coming in? Will it be you mm -hmm. know like like I said before the Abbots? There's not just the Master, so the Abbots are very very strong too, and they have the gift as well. They can turn so, it on and off too. Yeah, so there's going to be multiple Abbots, including the Master. Yeah, we Chow's going to be in, in there right. somewhere. Where do the Abbots stand up? Yeah. Do they Gaius stand? is going to be there. Hold on. Now, real quick, we don't know. We don't know. Do the abbots stand with Pilgrim? We don't know that. Didn't were the abbots? I don't re refresh my memory and 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 in the comments too. It just but did the were the abbots for Azra or against Azra? Did they are they trying to hide Azra? Are they trying to? I don't remember. I don't think they really spoke much of it. Where do they than... lie in that whole like? What is their what's their goal like what what are they why what are they in com compared to you know in relation to Azra? like what is it i don't I think remember they understand i think they understand of it i don't think they're as um i don't think they're are like they, nomadic well like they're not zealots Pilgrim are they they're not yeah. zealots because they're not yeah. touting Azra. you know pilgrim rolls in and he's like Azra, Azra, Azra. these guys are just you know they're harnessing taking away and teaching or taking it away students. don't forget they yeah. took they take away the gift too but they do it yeah. in a different way so yeah. Either way, I don't know, man. It, it you it's know, gonna be a big ass battle. It is gonna be a big battle. Bottom line, I think I think Minerva with the gift is a good thing. I think she'll use it responsibly. I think she'll drink responsibly. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, I I mean, listen. I know, like I said, we've we've seen a change in her. We seemed um, we seem uh, to see a different side of Minerva this season. I still think that she would have to deserve it or earn it before the uh, the master's yeah, not yeah, stupid. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree. Think that there I, would I be, absolutely agree, yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's like, hey, guys, here's the – I don't think it's like a, you know, a party favor that you just pass out. So um, I'm going to I'm gonna think that there might be a situation where uh, it's very dire and boom, however she turns it on, she may, she may do it that way for Minerva. Yeah. But I don't think that it's just something that um, – She'll just give her. Right. Okay. Know? No, I, yeah, I agree with that, though. Yeah. 
Um, all right, look, I guess that I guess that's that's it. We, you know, I think we raised some good questions here. You know, yeah. let us know what you guys think. Uh, you know, absolutely. Do Write down in those she, comments. <laughs> she will. She won't. She should. She shouldn't. You know, that's you know. Yeah. That's... Do you trust her? Do you trust her right. with the ability? That's like the big. That's the big question of it. Yeah. Um, or will she? Uh, you know, or will she have to earn it? Yeah. Um, write down in the in the in the comments section, of course, the Third Person Podcast at YouTube. Check us out at Third Person Pod on Facebook and on Instagram. And don't forget to have a listen or have a little view of us on iTunes. That's it. So until the next year video for Into the Badlands. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. All right. Peace.